Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make these animations with using After Effects. Let's get started. Right now, select this hand layer, go to solo, select pen behind, move the anchor point down, click station tool and unsolo. And let's go to again solo, press R, and let's change rotation like this. Change. 100 and go to and create new rotation Q frame go to 10 Q frames and change minus 10 go to 10 Q frames change 5 again 10 Q frames change minus 2 that 5 go to 10 Q frames change 1 again 10 Q frame change 0 and say Q frames make easy let's see okay there are more Q frames for bounce animation so let's unsolo Let's see. Okay, select this finger main. Let's link to hand layer. And select this finger main. Go to solo. Select pen behind. Move the anchor point here. Calculation tool and solo. And go to first second. Press R. Make rotation keyframe. And go to 10 keyframes. Change minus 10. Go to 10 keyframes. Change 5. Again, 10 keyframes. Change minus 2. Go 10 frame change 1 and 10 frame change 0. And make your frames easy. For random animation, select finger two frames, move to right a little bit. Nice. This looks very natural. So in this time select your fingers and let's link to hand layer. And select this person 3. Go to solo. Select pen behind. Move the anchor point down. Calculation tool and select person head 3. Let's link to person 3. And let's zoom in here. Select pen behind. Move the anchor point down. Calculation tool and go to first second. Press R. Hold Alt. Click rotation. And right wiggle 1, 9. Let's see. Okay, let's copy this expression with Ctrl C and select this person to hit, go to solo and move the anchor point down. Calculation tool, go to first second, press R, hold Alt, click rotation, Ctrl V and chain this 9. Okay, let's select this person 1 hit, go to solo and move the anchor point again down, calculation tool, press R, hold Alt, click here, Ctrl V, and chain this 6. Okay, so let's unsolo all these layers, and let's see. Nice, go to first second, select this person 2 head, link to person 2 layer, and select person head 1, link to person 1. And select this person 3, press S and change scale 0. Make scale keyframe, go to 10 keyframes, change 110. Go to 10 keyframes, change 95. Go to 10 keyframes, change 105. Again, last keyframe, change 100%. And make keyframes easy. Let's see. Okay, so select this person 2 and go to solo, select pen behind and move the anchor point down. Calculation tool and unsolo, select person 3, scale two frames. Let's copy and select person 2. Go to first second, press S, open scale, select scale, control V for paste two frames. And go to here, also select this person 2 here, link to person to head layer let's see nice and finally select this person one go to first second and select pen behind move the anchor point down calculation tool and press s select scale control v and let's see okay so in this time let's close these two frames and first select this person one and head move right let's timing 
and go to here select this person two layers move to right and person and person three nice so go to here select this person three person two and one link to hand layer let's see okay we have good timing select these person layers and let's see timing move to the left okay looks good so click toggle switch mode select all these layers and click motion blur okay very good 